SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Going on tour, I wanted to really put my message out there to not only, you know, young people, but also Africans that don't know a lot about Nigeria. I think it was about discovering the continent, but also taking a piece of Nigeria with me as well. Personally, 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 personally. Welcome to Poppy Takes Africa. Africa. And you are welcome to what is bound to be yet another exciting Indani TV adventure. And this time, this one starts in Lagos at the DJ Kapi tour, which is kicking off right now. Now, Kapi is one of the youngest female DJs in all of Africa, and she is taking over several countries on this tour to check out some of the top producers and the top music on the continent. Lagos, Nigeria has officially gone and dusted. Copy takes Africa, seven more stops. I'm so excited I have Indani TV coming along with us. Love you guys. This is the first time that Cuppy has been on a tour. It's so exciting for the brand. It's not the first time I've been able to travel because of my amazing job, but it's the first time that I've really been able to headline, you know, in this sort of arrangement. Going on tour is very unique because it allows you to literally carry your craft around for a period of time. The Cuppy well, Takes Africa team is amazing. Africa. It comprises of our amazing tour manager, Asa Sika. We have our tour coordinator, Tola Olami Ray. Elizabeth, who is my UK manager. Marian, who is our UK administrator. Lola, who is my Nigerian African manager. DJ Neo, who's my assistant DJ. Tom Tom, who is our super duper dancer. Onye, our other super duper dancer. Jason, who is my cousin slash guardian slash trainer. And we have Sam Frank, our amazing social media coordinator. Senegal is one of the most beautiful countries I have ever been to. It's right on the coast of West Africa. People from Senegal are very, very, very community orientated. They were so warm and welcoming. Once I got to the first stop in Senegal, it was so cool going to Vibes Radio, really connecting with the people, interacting, getting a sense of what Senegal was all about. DJing in Senegal was amazing. The energy levels were so, so, so high, and people were so supportive. really really feeling accomplished about the performance but after my performance I was so so excited full of energy and I was just on a general high but at the same time we had a flight to catch straight to Ghana so there wasn't much time for rest
Once the journey started, it felt like a whirlwind. There was so much going on. I also essentially realized that being on tour is really just organized chaos. Um, a cup surprised me in Ghana, which was an absolute honor. I'm so lucky to have parents that are supportive. I think that a lot of the issues we have, you know, with young people in Nigeria, we lack parents that are able to support us. And I don't mean financially, I mean morally. I have parents that told me when I wanted to DJ, go for it, but you must be the best. Having my mom come down to the Ghana show was so amazing. You know, it was great having my dad in the Nigerian show, but being in Ghana was beautiful because it was a show I was very nervous about. And family just makes me feel better, so it was super cool. I actually think that my team and I got into the groove in Kenya, which was our fourth country. The first four countries were, I guess, us sort of trying to get into a pattern. We were a new team, really young, lots of energy, but also we had never worked with each other before. So everyone had to get into a pattern. It took a bit of time. But by the time we reached Kenya, we all knew our tasks. We all got into a pattern, we all got into a routine. And it was like, we could carry out all our tasks while sleeping. The reason I take charity work so close to heart is that I do feel like young people are tomorrow's leaders and we have to invest in them and we have to give them the opportunity and the platform and the access to things so that they can express themselves. Education is important to me, knowledge is power. So I also want to go around Africa telling young people, telling young women that yes, you can follow your dreams but you can also be educated. So the charity work was re me really trying to plant a seed in these young people's lives and make sure that I did not only leave them with entertainment or with music or with things that are tangible but I inspired them. Hey, hey guys, we are live in Tanzania right now. It's Dar es Salaam and we have a surprise for you. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, so how are you feeling about this media tour out here in Tanzania? I'm so excited to be in Dar es Salaam, an amazing city so far. And I know we're going to have a fab time. Apparently, yeah. it could be one of our best countries on the tour. Turn up, what happens in Nibudia stays in Nibudia. Oh, Check this out. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. I cannot believe.
leave, we jumped off the boat. I'm, I'm over here. I'm having so much fun. It's an amazing time, and you know, I'm really, really looking forward to more of Tanzania. You're all welcome to Kigali. Rwanda is called the land of a thousand hills. Hear about a lady who's a DJ. And I think right? it's such a shame, you know. I think that there's, it's just such a shame to see that, you know, so many women are feeling like it's not an accessible market. And, you know, I think it's the same with entertainment on the whole. You know, I think us African women struggle to find our place and get our position. And I really hope I can only be an inspire, inspiration to others because, you know, I think that um, there's definitely an opportunity for us to shine. And I want to show that us women can do it just as well as men. Can I just say, I really like Rwanda. I mean, the energy, what? How soon are you coming back? That's what I want to know. I'm trying to figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> Can we stay? Tomorrow we have a show tomorrow, like we're heading to the airport right now. We just finished Rwanda. We've got a show in Uganda in less than 24 hours. This is crazy. Tour life to the maximum. Hey, yo, Cuppy. Ready? You ready for Uganda? Yes, I, I think so. Because like airport to the club again. And I mean, Rwanda was less than 24 hours ago and here we are getting ready for it again. Tour life, huh? Um, I respect her. I think her hustle is like she has a heart, you know what I mean? She's grinding and that's what she has to do in this industry. So I'm just wishing her all the best. Okay. What's up, DJ Kapi? I am inspired by you. I watched it today and I loved it. Never, never, never stop! Three things I love, it's travel, music, and talent. So I stopped by in Johannesburg to find all three. Welcome to Cuppy Takes Africa and Fully Story. Getting ready for South Africa was definitely something that was really emotional for me. I couldn't believe that the tour was basically over. We've done eight countries, and we all really just felt like a big family. I wanted to make South Africa my best show. South Africa already has a DJ culture, so my expectations were really high. And I did feel like it was a great finale to an amazing tour.
once the event was done, I did feel part partly disappointed because we did have some technical difficulties in the show. But nonetheless, we were still able to complete Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Files, aka Files the Bad Guy. On today's lesson, I will be teaching you how to subscribe to the Indani TV channel so as to be able to watch more wonderful videos. All you have to do is click on this 